Hey, hello techies, this is Sohan and you are watching Technical Spark. Friends, in our Telex Drive encryption series, today I am going to demonstrate how to change your default pre-boot authentication background screen or you can say pre-boot authentication theme. Changing theme is you know optional but it gives a more professional feel when user try to log in and with the help of those theme you can put down your matches also like if you face any issue you can contact IT person on so and so number or email id it could be your help desk or server desk team email id so you know th that is something which we are going to discuss in this video and I will also show you practically that how you can change that but before we proceed let me just show you that how exactly the default theme look like so as you could see I'm just starting my machine and as soon as it start up I got the this default screen right Trellix drive encryption and there is a Trellix logo at the back end it's complete in grey color so how you can change that so that is what we are going to discuss in this video so for that let me just sign in here and then we will jump to our EPO server system is starting <laughs> And guys on the EPO server let's log into the EPO console very first with the one of the admin credential and here I'll use admin as a username which is the default admin in our EPO console friends there is a one more thing which is required so just for your information I have already created one theme you know which I'm going to set on the you know with the background of my preboot authentication screen and this is the theme okay TDE theme which means Trellix Triumphation theme you can give any name to this file and let me also show you how exactly this you know theme look like so this is how the theme is you know looks when we open it and this is the image we are going to set in the preboot authentication screen background okay so let me close this and uh, one more thing if i go to the properties then you will see the dimensions so the file should be 1024 into 768 and this the entire file size should not go more than 2.5 MB otherwise Trellix drive encryption will not be able to upload this image to the reboot authentication screen okay so just keep these things uh, in mind now let me close this and go to the EPO under EPO go to the menu and then server settings and here we'll have to choose drive encryption under drive encryption we'll have to click on manage themes okay so let's click on that and here we have the option which under action click on add and guys this is the default theme okay so let's click on add here and guys here let's give a name like TDE and then create a new theme based on okay so here on based on we'll select Telix default and a background image we have to browse it so this is my theme which I have pasted on desktop so let's click on browse okay so everything is correct till now and click on okay now it's trying to create one package see the package has been created the one is default really default and second is td theme and if you check out the uh, resolution then it's almost same you can guys customize theme as per your requirement so this is just for your demonstration purpose so that once you understand the process then you will be able to do all the customization with the this particular theme manner okay now guys let's check out whether the package has been created or not for that we'll have to go to the c drive then program files 86 and mac api e policy orchestrator db and software current and here we'll have to choose ee theme okay so let's open the ee theme and then go to the dat in that 000 okay so this is the theme and here we'll have to choose uh, you know identify which exactly is our theme for that let me just open the second folder and background let's open this image okay this is the default one okay so let's go back and this time we'll you know open the first image let's open this image yeah so this is the our actual thing okay so i'm just copying this all through the copying uh, this particular file is not required but i'm just copying for my uh, reference and this will be i'm going to use in some other you know stuff okay so here i have copied this entire file now again go to the action and select regenerate missing theme package and click on yes okay now it shows success let's verify the same thing from our this window also refresh so everything is perfect now now guys to you know 
push this particular uh, theme onto the client machine what you will have to do that is very important now okay so for that let's go to the system tree and then let's say my machine is available in uh, workstation group okay so the very first and basic way is simply go to the action agent and update now if you choose this option then this particular package will automatically get downloaded to your uh, that uh, this particular client machine and there's a one more way you can simply go to the assign policies under Telix agent click on the general updates and here also you will get the option which is Trellix triangulation theme update okay okay but how you will get to know whether the uh, current package is the exactly one which you have just recently updated previous or evaluation okay so that is you know something important so that you information will get from the master repository I mean the main repository let's go there and currently you will see this is the theme which is currently applied and it doesn't show any branch right so guys by default this particular theme is you know in the current branch let me show you if I go to the action and then change branch then you, you will get the information like this particular theme is in current branch okay and as well as this is the timing so when exactly this package has been checked in then it's 22 July 2023 and it's the timing is 1 3 a.m. PDT also it's a uh, afternoon here but yeah the time it shows P, uh, PDT so I'll change that later time zone okay so the things are clear till now so let me go to the system tree and then and guys after this agent we will have to go to the drive encryption and here open the product settings okay so this is my encryption policy under this go to the themes and here we'll choose tde theme which is trellix drive encryption theme okay which we just created and hit save button okay so we are good if you face any issue with any of the machine then there is a one more option you can simply go to the assign client task then create new client task assignment trellix agent product update and under product update you will have to click on create new task and here you can select Trellix drive encryption theme you can unselect uh, you know other options which is available based on your requirement okay and let's give a name Trellix or TDE theme update selected package yeah all the information is correct now let me click on save my TDE theme update uh, package has been uh, created now when is that you want to deploy so this is my test machine so i'll choose run immediately and then click on save okay so my task has been in post now let's go to our client machine okay let me log in let's open our telex agent status monitor screen and maximize check for new policy in post policy td theme update becomes active searching available update yeah this is what we have saw in our server task so my update is successfully installed which means i mean theme update and guys if you want you can you know go to the you know, this particular following path and verify whether the israeli you know, downloaded your package or not for that the path is program files mcafee dry encryption and theme okay here you will get those images now let me just restart the machine and we'll see whether it's working or not so let's close this and perform the restart hey guys we have successfully able to change this theme right let me enter my username see just look at the background okay so this is what we have configured in our policy and same is applied now let me log into my machine Sohan G enter and then password perfect now let's go to EPO console now friends I hope you have now understood how exactly you can change the theme of your drive encryption preboot authentication just just go ahead and you know test this feature on your lab or in production environment if your business uh, hits approved and guys hopefully in this video you have got something new to learn with me if so please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to like and subscribe 
click on the bell icon so that you will always get my new video notification and with this simple trick we'll end this video here and i'll catch you in the next amazing video till then bye bye